Hey everyone, this Angel from Avex came in with a brand new video for Mortal Shell. Here I am going to show you how you can switch shells and weapons in the game because this is something that the game doesn't explain and it's kind of confusing to discover in the first couple of hours as you play. Let's start with shells. Once you have acquired more than one shell in the game, and in case you haven't, here's a quick video for the location of each one, you will need to do one of the two different methods to do the switch. The first one is to go to the bell tower in the middle of the forest where you find Sister Ganesa and select any of the shells you have found so far that will be lying in the crypt. This is useful if you are around the area but once you are out in the wild and in the temples the only way to do the switch is with four items called effigies. There is an effigy for each shell, Harus, Eretrim, Solomon and Teal, which can be obtained randomly while looting. Take into consideration that these effigies are limited and you can run out of them, so use them wisely. Now the same thing applies to weapons, there is a weapon rack on the second floor of the bell tower and there you can freely switch from one to the other. And again, if you haven't found these weapons, here is another video that you can check out for you to expand your selection. So to do the switch remotely, you will need four different items that correspond to each of the weapons. For the smoldering hammer, there's the disciplers rack. For the hammer and chisel, the sister's binding. For the hallowed sword, the tether vestment. And finally, for the martyr's blade, the martyr's shawl. Each of these is located near the entrance of each temple, so keep an eye for them in case that you find them. Once you have the item, you just have to use it and you can change weapons as many times as you like. Hope this was useful and shed some light. Thank you for watching and keep enjoying Mortal Shell.